Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I made this Mickey Mouse Clubhouse themed cake. So let's get right into it. I'm starting out with two 8 inch cakes, which I've cut in half, and I'm going to be filling those with some Swiss meringue buttercream. I'm grabbing my small offset spatula to make sure that my buttercream is nice and even, and then once my cake is stacked up, I'm going to be applying a thin layer of my buttercream all around the outside for my crumb coat, and then popping that into the fridge for about 25 minutes. Once you can put your finger on the buttercream and none of it comes off, you're ready for your final ice. So I'm using a liberal amount of buttercream to go all around the outside of my cake. And then I'm going to grab my bench scraper and go around the sides to smooth them out. And all that buttercream that accumulated on the top of my cake, I'm going to be pushing that into the center using my offset spatula. When my cake is iced, I'm going to put that back in the fridge. And then I'm going to grab some of my light blue fondant and roll that out on my cornstarch surface until it's about an eighth of an inch thick. I'm picking my fondant up with my fondant roller and draping it over my chilled cake. And then just using my hands and my fondant smoother, I'm gonna push all the air out from the top of my cake and just work my way down the sides, pulling out the pleats in the skirt and smoothing my way down until I reach the bottom. I'm going over my cake one more time with my fondant smoother before grabbing my pizza cutter and just trimming away the excess at the bottom. To build the clubhouse portion of my cake, I'm starting off with Mickey's head. So I'm rolling out some black fondant and then I have different size circle cutters. I just tested out some different sizes until I had the right size for the head and then for the two ears. I'm also cutting out a strip of black fondant that I will trim down for the piece of his neck. Next, I'm rolling out some red fondant, and then with an even larger circle cutter, I'm cutting out a circle of that, and then just putting it aside with the rest of my pieces. I brushed a little bit of shortening onto the back of my head and ears, and I'm placing that onto my cake, trying my darndest to cover up that little nick I did. But once it is stuck on, you want to do the same thing with your red fondant. I have trimmed off the bottom, you can see, and stuck that on. And then the next piece is the neck. Mm -hmm. 
for Mickey's hand, I've rolled out some white fondant and I have a little template that I made for myself. If you watch my videos regularly, you will know by now that I love me a good template. I think they make it so much easier to cut out tricky shapes versus just trying to freehand it, so I will link the one that I used below. To complete the hand, I rolled out some black fondant really thin and then trimmed it into three little pieces and put that right in the middle. I rolled out some more black fondant and then used my template to get a good idea of how thick the arm should be and then cut that out using my X-Acto knife. I cut that strip in half so half of it would be used for the arm and then the other half would be used for the leg piece that I'm going to add in just one second. I'm taking that leg piece and putting it on top of some yellow fondant that I've rolled out and then just eyeballing this bean shaped thingy for his shoe. For the slide part of the clubhouse, I'm rolling out this darker blue fondant into a long snake and then I am scoring it with a butter knife, you can use whatever you have, to give it a little more texture. So now I'm going to start attaching all of my pieces to the cake, starting with the slide. I'm just using some shortening to help secure everything. You could use water or edible glue, whatever your preference is. And then I'm attaching my hand and my leg and I'm just trimming down any of the pieces that I need if they don't fit right. And then as a last step, I'm adding two ovals in a lighter blue color for windows. For the greenery on my cake, I have three different shades of green that I'm rolling out and I also made a little template of Mickey's head and cutting that out and then I have this cutter that I think is supposed to be a leaf but it works as a bush so I'm just cutting out bushes and Mickey's head out of all three so I have a nice mix of the colors. Finally, I'm rolling out some white fondant for some clouds. I'm just freehanding the shapes. They do not have to be perfect. Mine certainly weren't. And I'm sticking everything onto the cake. So I have all the Mickey heads, which are going to be like the trees. I'm putting those all the way around and then with some clouds, just mixing up the colors. And before I add the bushes, I'm adding some tree trunks. So just long strips of brown fondant and then adding the bushes on there after. However, I think it looked good. Now that my cake is all done, I'm gonna move on to my Mickey Mouse topper. For Mickey's head, I am rolling out some black fondant into a ball and I've added some Tylos powder to this so that it firms up really nice. Then for the face, I have some ivory colored fondant and I'm rolling that out and using a heart cutter. And I'm gonna be elongating that and just kind of pushing it out so it's a little more round, but I wanna keep the top of that for the shape of his face. I attached that to the front using some shortening and then again just kind of reshaped it a bit so that it wasn't so pointed if that makes sense just like keep the cute little heart top but kind of round out the sides a bit for Mickey's snout face part <laughs> I rolled out more of my ivory fondant into this long shape and then using my pinky I pressed in on either side as I rolled so that the ends thinned out
So once I have that on the face, I'm making sure that there's enough room at the top for his eyes. Just use a reference photo if you need it, it really helps. And I'm using my fingers to kind of push the top up and also taper the bottom a bit so it looks like he's got a bit of a grin. I know it kind of looks weird right now, but once I add the smile in and the nose, it'll all come together. So you want to make sure you have this general shape, whatever shape this is, and I'm using my fondant tool just to create a little dent on either side so that when I attach it, it'll kind of help in the look that he has a smile going on, if that makes sense. Using my fondant tool, I'm marking in his smile and then pushing in on either end for his dimples and at the bottom just creating an opening that I'm just working with my fondant tool and I have also the end of a paintbrush just to help me get the right shape for his mouth. For the eyes, I'm marking in where they're going to go with the end of my fondant tool and then I'm just adding some white and then some black on top of that. I've added a little oval of black for his nose and then some black into his mouth and I just used my fondant tool to help taper off the sides so it's not like a big blob of black where his mouth should be. To finish off his mouth, I'm adding a ball of red and just pressing that down and then using my fondant tool to mark in the line for his tongue. So that's his face done. And for the ears, I'm rolling out some black fondant and using the right size circle cutter that I found matched his head and cutting out two circles and then just trimming off the corners using a circle cutter so that it'll fit better against his head. It'll kind of conform versus just poking out. I want those to set before I add them, so I'm going to move on to his body. I'm rolling out some black fondant into this fat teardrop shape and then with a ball of red fondant I'm creating a hole in the center that's going to kind of become like a crater for his body to fit into and I'm just making that bigger and bigger and thinning out the top so that when I put the black piece in it all fits together really snug. Once I added them together, it did take me a little while before I got the look that I wanted, but I ended up with this general shape. And then I added that to the top of my cake and I used a skewer to keep that in place with just enough room up top for the head to attach. For his shorts, I added two balls of red fondant that I rolled into a teardrop shape. And then I attached the skinnier end to the side and just pressed it in so that it was flush. And then using the end of my fondant tool, I created a hole where his leg is going to slot into. I rolled out a long thin snake of black fondant and trimmed down little pieces for his legs. And then for his shoes, I have the little balls of yellow fondant that I rolled into a long oval shape and smushed those down. And then I created a hole in those for his leg to slot into on the other set. I added two little white buttons for his shorts and then I rolled out another long thin snake of black fondant and cut out pieces for his arm and just attached those to the top so that they were tapered down and kind of pressed in. Next I pushed his head on and then using some water I attached the ears on either side. For his gloves, I rolled out two balls of white fondant into this teardrop shape and flattened them against my work surface and then using my X-Acto knife I cut out four fingers 
and just round it off the ends using my fingers and then to put the lines into his gloves I just used my fondant tool. Once I added those to my cake, I rolled out a little thin strip of white fondant and just used that as like the seal between his hand and his arm. And this is how he turned out. I am always working on my fondant figurines and the last Mickey I made looked like a potato compared to this one, so I'm really happy with how he turned out. Thank you so much for watching guys, I really appreciate you supporting my channel and I will see you in the next one.